ESPN. Wait. <laughs> We got Yanni P, Zach, Mike Emoji Face. We're all in here. We're going to talk about Pocahontas because it's Thanksgiving. I do have a sore throat because I did eat puss. You did? Yeah. Yes, look at us. Well, yeah, that's, that's, you're revving up for the holidays. Yeah. And you said we're all in here, but we are down one woke dope princess. Yeah. Venetia, right. Venetia didn't show up the first day I wore fry boots because yeah. she couldn't take the heat. She couldn't take the heat. Because I got fry boots on, but make no mistake, they did hurt my feet, so I took them off. You t- <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to break them yeah, in a little I mean, bit. They really hurt, but because so they're took fucking, them off. They're cute. Yeah, who's yeah, the, at the door? There's some people working um, construction in here. Yeah, and I need to see their papers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the history hyenas, yes. everybody. First and foremost, wow! Thank you to our oh, thank you to Chris Pappas for dying. Chris Pappas has passed away. Yeah, he so, passed away. Full, full military honors. Thanks. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Even Mike got Mike got a sad face for that. I mean, sometimes I just go too wild. Maybe I should put my shoes back on. Yeah, oh, you're just geez. a kid. Sometimes you save. You got about a 90 percent connect rate, but when you miss, it's a home run swing. Yeah, yeah I would call. Yeah. I would call your Mrs. Vlad. Let's just call your Mrs. Vladimir Guerrero's. When I when I miss, I mean, I fall down at the plate because I swung so hard. Yeah, and I mean, that was just what we call a miss. Yeah, that was just because not only do you, it's not a miss joke. You go the other way where you go. I'm like Chris. That's not appropriate. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's what it is. It can't. It's what it is. You got an LGBTQ flag on your sweatshirt. It's what it is. And it's also what you wore at one of the live shows. Yeah. It's actually the same sweatshirt I wore at the live show because when I buy a new piece of clothing, I just wear it and wear it until it stretches out because my butt's too big. It's what it is. I noticed how big your butt was because thank you, first of all, for coming to all the aspects except for the you, – you didn't come to the macaria. Yeah, I didn't come to the to the meal. But you didn't come to the meal afterwards, but you were at everything else. Well, yeah, because I was just trying to get cracked open by your brother. You were trying to, yeah. Because you, your brother's an FF for realsies. Yeah, but he's not interested at all. He's not interested, and then you laughed at – He's just interested in hating me. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But I did notice when you came up uh, you, to say goodbye to Chris Pappas in the casket and you stepped up onto the altar – it was real funny because you stepped up and your jacket flared up, and then your church lady ass just kind of fucking <laughs> flung out. My it L- flung out. My it, LLA, lunch yeah, lady ass. It flung out. Yeah. Like the jacket popped out and your ass just went. Well, like I, tu- I turned around. You got a fat ass. Fat, I turned around and I saw you holding in a laugh, and I saw Mrs. Poppus getting really mad looking at you. Because if she you were looked a, at me too, and I put my head down. If you were a gay kid, black eyes would be into you. The, yeah. You got a fat ass. Fat ass. No, yeah, of course, of course, be there for you. I mean, it was freezing at the funeral. It was freezing. Yeah, but you know what? We Somebody, the, you know, the lady in the back. She walked up that hill. She almost had a heart attack, whoever that woman was. Yeah, that was Sharon. That was one of his aides. I mean, that lady yeah. almost died at the top yeah, of that hill. Sharon, yeah. She's a big girl. She's close. Yeah, she's close. She's close. Yeah, but it was beautiful. Uh, the full I- military honors is kind of that was cool. Beautiful. I recorded it. No, you should have. Yeah, and yeah. I posted it, and some kid's like, who would record this? Guy, it's, it's your- my father. I'll do whatever the fuck, fuck I, I want. want. Yeah. And it's a beautiful thing to, yeah. that I want to keep for. I want to keep that, uh, you know, forever. Yeah, no, the only, the only, and it's good content, Schultz, and it's good content. Yeah, we're gonna subtitle it. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, it would have been nice. Yeah, it, it was nice. It was a really, 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 um, really nice service. Um, Patty Flyballs and Debo came. It was very nice. Bill Burr stopped by, which was very nice. Yeah, Paul Verzi stopped by. Yeah, Patrick Milligan asked me if he had a spot. Yeah, yeah, Patrick Milligan asked me. He had, he asked me if I had a spot, and I got the text while I was at the military honors burial. Yeah, Truffle Pig showed up, our manager, and started talking business immediately. Immediately, Ali yeah. Wong sent flowers. Thank you, Ali. Yeah. <laughs> Wei Song Xian. Wei Song Xian. Yeah, that, that's got to get tackled. Okay. And we're back. Yeah. Yeah. And we're and back. We're back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So just that, just that little clip of Chris's fucking voice has got to get rid of. Yeah. Actually, legally, it has to. It has to legally there. That's okay. S. Yeah. Speaking of legally. Yeah. Um, we got Thanksgiving coming up. Where are you headed? Thanksgiving? Are you going um, to be at the situations? I house? may just fucking stuff mush in the oven and eat him. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, he's a cake. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the kid's a cake. I mean, with the slurpee. Is yeah. there a chance that you're gonna be uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna be with the situation, the situation's fiance? Yeah, probably be with the situation's fiance. Um, I don't know. I'll probably just take my daughter to Dunkin' Donuts and figure it out. Yeah, that's what it is. No, probably, I don't know. I, I think no. You'll see I, your pops there if you go. Your dad looks like a guy who likes to spend a couple hours at a Dunkin' Donuts with a crossword puzzle. No, that's what my dad does. <laughs> <laughs> That's no ass. You know what I'm talking about? Like you walk into a Dunkin' Donuts and you see a guy who's who just looks like he's been there for a couple hours. He's got a shopping bag or two. Yeah, no, that, that is my dad, but it's not the crossword puzzle. He's just he's gambling money on the games. Yeah, he's looking at horses. Yeah, it's just what it is. No, but um, yeah, maybe I'll go see my pops. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I love Thanksgiving. It's a good holiday. It's actually my favorite holiday. And we're going to talk about Pocahontas today, the real story of Pocahontas. And some's cute, some's brutes. And you know what's interesting? We did... We did Jamestown, I think. That's we a, did not. I don't remember what no, we did. I looked through, I looked through every what episode. Did we, we didn't. We did something peripheral to we her. We may have spoken about it, but we never did a full episode. We on never it. did a full episode. Even on Jamestown, we never and did We probably episode. mentioned her just because she's a fucking piece. piece. Her and Sacagawea will get banged out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, is that the, is, yeah. It's just what it is. Yeah, I mean, I've, is, Sacag- is that the Fiesta was giving your dad military honors yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> out of 14. It's a character, character piece. piece. I, don't know, I, character I always thought Pocahontas was like Steve Buscemi. So. Yeah, you don't like Pocahontas? You don't like Pocahontas? Look at her. Oh, in this, in this picture we have up, she does look like Steve Buscemi. But in the cartoons, she'll get fucking <laughs> cracked. Let me tell you the three cartoons that will get fucking cracked by Chrissy D. Yeah, one of them's Pocahontas. A, one of them's a lion, yeah. Yeah, Pocahontas. Yeah. Uh, Mulan. Uh-huh. And Janice Stenham, she'll get cracked. And then Nala from The Lion King. They'll get fucking cracked. Word. And also, I, Ursula will get cracked from The Little Mermaid. Yeah. Yeah, we. Well, I'll crack. I'll crack Ursula. Ursula looks like she gives a good blowy. How about the Little Mermaid? <laughs> I just can't get through a fucking fin pussy. <laughs> <laughs> which one's the one from? Fro- <laughs> which one's the frozen one? Elsa and Anna. So Elsa get cracked. She'll get cracked, but my daughter plays with the toys too much, so I can't. I can't because the thing is, the thing is, I, yeah, I can't even think about cracking them because my daughter loves that movie. Yeah, you can only crack their teachers, not the actual toys. Yeah, just yeah, just crack it's the, actual people. Yeah, I can, I can crack the actresses that play Elsa, but I can't crack. Actual house. Yeah, I think, um, I just think on your birth certificate, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, they, it, the doctor maybe knew. He just saw you come out with your feet. Like, your feet are shaped like they're supposed to be in high heels. Yeah. And maybe just knew, like, this baby is going to come with complications. Yeah. It's always going to be a s- complication. Yeah. N- nothing's going to ride smooth. No. You don't have a re- smooth ride. If you're, no. if you're, if your being was a car, yeah, you're more of a Ford Fusion. Yeah, it's a little bumpy. It's a little bumpy. The shocks, it doesn't hug the road. Yeah, it's a little bumpy. If you hit something, you're gonna feel it. But uh, but a Ford Fusion. I am an American kid, and that's an American. You're car. an American car, and also that's also often the car of the troops. Because guess what? FDNY, NYPD, they're always in a fucking Ford Fusion. Yeah, because those are the troops to us. The NYPD and the FDNY, of course, the army, but the NYPD, FDNY, DSNY are the troops. Yeah, the troops. And when you go to Europe, it's it's funny because all the cops are always in BMWs. Yeah. So that just shows you that they're that's like their Ford Fusion. Right. It's that's a BMW. The, that's that says a lot in the difference of quality of what because what we do for mass consumption is burgers yeah. and like shit and yeah, Ford no, Fusion. America. They do BMWs and croissants. America took one thing from the um, the biggest thing that America stole from the Greeks is the ability to convince themselves they're doing better than they are. Yeah. That's what America and the Greeks have a lot in common. Yeah. America starts to say, yeah, we're the best, we're the best. It's like, no, you're not. And it's the same with the Greeks. It's like, no, you're not. But you just have to deal with it. Yeah. The Greeks, I think the Greeks are probably number one at that. Yeah. They're the Al Bundy of countries. I've said it before. Yeah. It's just. That's they, hilarious. They go back to the glory days. And anytime you, they, they, they're almost in denial about the state of the country now. Mm-hmm. And furthermore. About the state of the country now, they never really pin the tail on the donkey as to what the real problem is. Which is what? They always... Muzzies? No. Way so no, I mean, it's like fucking, fucking rain about. I mean, people don't want to fucking talk Way about it. Someone's got to pay. <laughs> no, it's no, I'm just kidding. Way so it's just character piece. It's a character piece. That was a joke. Lot of 14. That was just a joke. Lot of 14. I, I, I condemn all that. Yeah, Greeks will always say, you know, it's the German bankers, international, uh, international bankers. It's Germany, uh, you know, because uh, they they they're pushing the e- European Union because they want they don't have to pay uh, they export so much they don't want to pay an Im- an, an, an import tax mm-hmm. from all these countries. Blah, blah 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 blah. There's some truth to that. Blah blah sure. blah blah. But the real reason that the Greek economy is in shambles is guess what? Because of who? Because of Greeks. Because of Greeks. Yeah. Because everyone wants the benefits of socialism. 
Yeah. But nobody wants to pay the taxes yeah. of socialism. Do you hear that, Ocasio Cortez? Exactly. Actually, do you hear it? Do you hear it, AOC? Because or I, you, yeah. I have like huge liberals in my family, yeah. and all I watch them do when they sit with their accountant is figure out ways how yeah. to tax evade. Yeah. Everyone is 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 a tax evader. Yeah. So people vote liberal, and then they get into their accountant's office, and then they act like conservatives. Yeah. Because that's at least conservative. You got to give them credit. Conservatives are just out front and honest with you. They're just yeah. going, I don't want to pay for this guy. Yeah. Your mom's just on the train going, I don't want to pay for all these welfare people. Yeah, it's just what it is. Why does my tax dollar have to pay for these welfare monkeys? Es lo que es. Yeah. That's yeah. what your mom would say. Yeah. And liberals say would say, like, no, it's fine, it's fine. But then they go in their accountant's office, and they try to hide the money so they don't have to. Right. So it's like, we're all pieces of shit. Absolutely. So let's just be honest about it. Yeah, let's just be, let's just be crystal clear. Ultimately, people are selfish, and that's why Capitalism is not perfect, but you got to say that's why it is the best, worst system we've had. Right. Because socialism does not work. Doesn't work. You can't stifle people's individualism and their ingenuity. It's not going to happen. We're not born equal, okay? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm trying to set you up for a steel pipe or a crystal clear. Yeah. But you just tuned out because you're you're, you're a kid who just, if you don't have your phone in here, you're not doing 10 things at the same time, you're not comfy one feet. I'm not right. comfy one feet, and I have a sore throat because I ate puss. Do you, right. Did you eat some no. puss recently? I ate some pu- I don't. Yeah, maybe like a week ago, and I just my throat hurts. Just one side of my throat. Call, I don't know what it's from. Yeah, it could be from that bacteria. But no, I know what it is. Yeah. It's from. Uh, it's because I snored. I it's snored also, real loud. Yeah, and you and you got you did. The baby told me I was snoring too loud. You got a sore throat, and you never got the part in that movie. What movie? Es lo que es. The one you were promised. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting. For, I'm waiting for that time. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for any controversy to come to me, and I'm going to let that one fly. Yeah, you got a me too. You have a me too. Get out of jail free card. I have a me too. Get out of jail free card in the back pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Um, thank you to everyone who came out to our first live shows. What a fun time we had! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. We had a good time. The the, the um we had the shows Friday at the Stand. Um, which the great Tim Dillon was on. That was fantastic. Um, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys to hear that. Um, and, and and that's the only place it'll live. Yep. You know, we like to reward our members of the matriarchy. We talked about Hyena Gate. Yep. We talked about some of the things. We got close on we certain got close occasions. To the podcast we were not allowed to release because it was too wild. We did touch on some of those subjects at the live hyena on the, at what? the stand, which is only available patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Yeah, and also uh, our second show, which was the biggie. The Gramercy Theater. Which the kids move fucking tickets. We sold that out in a couple of weeks like a couple of fucking pros. I mean, the stand and Gramercy sold out like we were Hassan Minaj. Yeah. I mean, it sold out like we had an Indian following, and we're not funny, we just are brown. Es lo que es. Wei song xian. Wei song xian. It's character piece. A lot of 14. <laughs> Wei Song Shen. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I'm that, just kidding. He's a great kid. Yeah, he's a great. He's kid. a great he's kid. Our friend James did the warm up for him, and then he got fired. As <laughs> look as yeah, is it cackles. Oh, uh, Heber. All right. I mean, I you mean, can let that yeah, fly. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. I mean, he yeah, he's just happen. joking. He's, yeah, he's just so kidding. funny. I'm I mean, kid's revolutionary. I mean, he's kidding. Kidding. I'm fucking kidding around. Yeah. Hey, Bert, James, open, and then got yeah, Heber. Yeah, the kids, the kids. He just wanted to know which sound effect. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, he doesn't care about his life at all. He's like, what button do I push for this fucking? <laughs> yeah, I just the podcast started to do real well, and we need it because I'm just worried about Zach's haircuts recently. Yeah, it doesn't. It looks like he's cutting them with like with paper scissors. Yeah, yeah. No, his haircut looks like it's medieval, like he's Joan of Arc. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on in his life right now, but I'm starting to worry. He's starting to get a little bit of a taxi driver vibe. I'll tell you what, his fucking girlfriend's got cans. <laughs> That's lo que es. Yeah, he's got a nice girlfriend, and uh, she's a piece. And yeah, she's a piece. And, and, and the guy, and if you guys missed the live show at the Gramercy Theater, it was fantastic. Sold out. Again, you can hear that whole show, whole show, patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Zach opened up the show with a rap song and he brought uh, a guy who I think is on estrogen therapy to sing the hook. As <laughs> look as. I mean, that kid, yeah, I mean, what's that kid's sip. deal? I said, I said, give it up for that kid for getting up the stairs because he was tiny. He was, was tiny. Hilarious. I mean, that he made it up to the stage was crazy. I said, I started the show, but I said, give it up for that. That kid, whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> but let me say yeah, something you about can't that. can't say that. Wei Chun that guy. Come on, you can't wait. Yeah, but that guy was so But I support trans and people on estrogen therapy and whatever yeah, you want. I just, he was. He I just thought it was a puppet. Yeah, he looked. He could have yeah. been a puppet. He was yeah, tiny. No, he's a nice kid. I'm just kidding around. That's what great. I wanted to say. First yeah, of all, kid, nice, nice kid. The, the two of these kids made a great song. The two kids from Queens. Yeah, he looks know? like he's a little downsy, though. Just Miss Downs. Yeah. I mean, hear him. 
Huh? No, you well, yeah. both? He looks, you, you look like full blown. Face. He looks like he's got a touch. He's got a little Zach touch. looks full blown. Zach, Zach, I mean, Zach walks around with fucking hotties, though. Zach's a hot kid. Zach's a hot kid. Zach's just going through a poor stage of his life. So when you see the photos in his Facebook album and you scroll back, you're going to be like, oh, that was 2019 when he was poor. Yeah. He's got poor jeans on. His haircut is being cut by paper scissors. Yeah. And the kid just hasn't shaved because he can't yeah. afford shaving He made cream. a video from the Home Depot with chancletas and socks on. He's fucking selling brass knuckles to make ends meet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at the us. kid is getting brass knuckles imported from North Carolina to make ends meet. It's not, a, it's not a happy time right now. It's what it is. Zach is actually at that phase. Like, you remember me when I was doing bar four and I was like 460 pounds? Yeah. And I, and I was poor as hell. Yeah. Like that, Zach's me yeah. in 2009 or eight or yeah. seven. It was kind of, that's, um, oh, I was laughing at too in the back when the video was playing, you know, at your father's um, wake uh, before you made a speech, which is a great speech, by the way. Oh, no, after you made the speech, which is a great speech. Thank you. There were videos, there was a video montage playing, and there were certain pictures of you where you were 15, 16, 17, you had the long hair, and you looked good. And then there were pictures of other parts of your life where you were like 30, where you just look like a fat woman. Yeah. You actually look like a fat woman. <laughs> yeah. Where I was like, what is this? And yeah. now you're just back to being fucking handsome again. Yeah. You've got, I mean, the phases of Yanni are so, we need to put that up on History I mean, it's just the phases of what he can look like. Because, I mean, it looks, it's so what Nate Bargatze is the same thing. Yeah. Where it's just like he looks wild. Like so like not like the most handsome you've ever been in your life is right now. Yeah. And we, when you were a kid too. Yeah. I'm not a consistently handsome guy. But when you when, I'm when kinda you're handsome, handsome like you're fucking handsome. Yeah, but I'm kind of I split the week. I'm okay. kind of handsome like three three days a week and then four days a week I'm off. Yeah, you're just, yeah. It, it's kind of weird like that, right? Like I'm like a Monday, Wednesday, Sunday kind of guy. Yeah. And if you catch me on those days, you're going like that kid's kind of hot, and then you catch me on other days, I just look off. Yeah. You it know, depends what if you clean your ass or not. Sometimes you come, you've been doing a lot. Like you come out and the ass is not clean. Yeah, there's witch hazel. Remember we used to do that. What percentage of your ass clean? Yeah, you were you were you were in the fives. Yeah, well, we well, how come we don't do that anymore? We don't Yooms. do toilet check anymore, and we don't do uh, how clean is your ass. We got to bring them both because well, we have we got, so many things cooking. We forgot about yeah because we got more mature now. Yeah, yeah. And, your jawline is, is 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 here's the blessing in this guy. This is the curse of Chrissy D. This is yeah, why it should Chrissy D curse Chrissy curse Chrissy. This is why it should have said on his birth certificate. This is just gonna come with complications because the kid the kid your jawline is never been tighter it's tight right you've now. you've never been more in shape but my ass is blowing out your ass is blown out and you're just you're 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 pounding sweets you're pounding them yeah <laughs> you're pa like you are consuming sweets like i'm off the rails with you're sweets. off i've never actually seen you off the rails but the but the thing is your chrissy contradictions because you're waking up at 7 a.m. like you're fucking Apollo Creed. Yeah. And you're training for an imaginary fight. Yeah. And then since you do that, you give yourself license to go off the fucking rails for the next 17 hours of the day. Yeah, I mean, I convinced I convinced you and Mrs. Pappas to stay out late to go have tiramisu cheesecake with me. And you had a full piece of cheesecake. I mean, it was fucking good. And I ordered mootsies for the table. Yeah, you did get mootsies for the table. <laughs> yeah. But guys, what straight man at 1 in the morning... Who has a generally good life says, "I need a piece of tiramisu cheesecake." I mean, right the now. waiter asked me if there was another person coming. He's he like, asked there another one. I said, "No, it's just for me." Yeah. <laughs> he, he goes, "Did your husband just break up with you, ma'am?" Yeah. What That's happened? what he wanted to know. What you were doing? And yeah, yeah. Who walks in and orders a fucking tiramisu cheesecake at one in the morning? With who's Mucci's. not a fucking divorced woman? Yeah, uh, with me. But <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's much yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're you're just going off the rails with that. So I you're Chris. I have to stop. I have to stop. But I did stop eating pizza. I haven't I haven't had a slice of pizza in like over a week because I think I have an ulcer. So and a pizza was hurting the ulcer. How did you get an ulcer? I just I I, I the situation. I self diagnosed. I mean, the situation doesn't help. <laughs> That's um, <laughs> no gas. But I don't think it's that. Right. I think I just I don't know. Yeah. Well, I have to get my tonsils removed. Is what the problem is. Yeah, I'm I got to have to eventually get them removed. And I need an Impossible Burger at right now. Yeah, but the Impossible. My blood pressure is low. I've only had one meal today, and it was fucking General Tso's chicken. Do you want to? Do you want to go? Do you want to go get something to eat? Yeah. No, but I mean, like, do you need to get one? Are you going to go down? We need to get the nets. No, no, we don't need the nets. Yeah, we don't. Need Mikey the nets. laid on the floor at the ground. He did lay on the show, and he <laughs> acted like a net, which was good. And then I called him a human love sack, and it got a tepid response. Yeah, but we we had a great show. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great show. Zach yeah. opened it. It was a first cracked show. Cracked the fuck open. Cracked the fuck open. We're and then Mike bombed. <laughs> no, Mike. No, okay. Mike, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. no, Mike. Whoa, it was just a yeah, joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Usually, there's a laugh from Mike on anything you say, but right there, he was just. Yeah, like, no, I was kidding around. You was great. Great. Yeah, I, no, I thought I could make that joke because it was so great. Yeah, oh, no, but you. the funny thing was, so many people after seeing Mike now, like, just 
like so many people at the show, so many of them were commenting like, "Wow, his he, his face does like it look like." An I emoji. guarantee yeah. you, Mike is going to bang up a uh, member of the matriarchy. I uh, guarantee I, you, Mike's. I don't think so. When this no, pot, I think they are. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to figure out what what Mikey likes to squeeze off to. Yeah, what does he like to choke to? What does he like to choke off yeah, to? Yeah, and I think he's he's more of a nice guy. I think he, I think when he he jerks off, it's like it's nice stuff. I don't think he's a, I don't think he's a deviant. <laughs> like, like, You're a fucking disturbed kid. Yeah, I'm a disturbed kid. Yeah, I think Mikey, I think you like to jerk he off. He used to sneak downstairs and smell Eileen's feet. <laughs> you can't say that. Uh, That's low <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it, what no, it is. But I it's like a joke. It's a fun. character piece. It's character piece. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to cackle that. Guy, just make no mistake. When don't cackle that because that's a big laugh for who is ever in their car right now. When me and the baby. Just use your imagination. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. When me and the baby, and that, make no mistake. When me and the baby, when me and the baby start sleeping over your house every other weekend in North Salem, we're gonna come in. and We're gonna sniff your feet. <laughs> yeah. Because the baby does it too. Yeah. The baby does what I do. So she'll come right behind me and she'll start sniffing your feet too. Yeah. And when you and the baby come up to stay at my house you know what else i'm doing what i'm putting on headgear yeah because the baby hits the baby hits the baby <laughs> hasn't hit anybody in eight days and it's a good sign yeah and that's, myself i'll take you physically is it because liz had a talk lynn had a talking with her yeah yeah no it's because liz is gone and lynn had a talk with her yeah, yeah. Liz, liz just said we just don't do that right yeah no liz liz yeah no my mom it, 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 there's just now there's just real rules and there's real discipline yeah and it's just you know and it's just what it is. It's like, you know, you want to go ride your stationary bikes, do whatever you need to do, but we're going to take care of this. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I mean, it's like whatever, whatever you need to do, babe. Like, yeah. Go ahead. You know, yeah, I don't fucking know your class, whatever, free <laughs> free shakes, whatever you need to do. She's going to get German discipline over here. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I was in the new era where reality TV is so big, this era has been around for a little while. What I would do is I would just create a reality show called Chrissy D. Yeah. Where you just... Let him get into trouble with his mouth. Yeah. And just the show's him trying to get out of it. Yeah. I mean, because every time the kid opens his mouth, there's like just potential danger for him constantly. Yeah, I like to live that way. You just yeah. you like to tightrope walk. Yeah. You're 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 that little French kid between the twin towers. That's who I am. That's your life. I'm Chrissy Tightrope. Yeah, and when people say, Why did you say that on the podcast? Why would you say something that awful about your family members? Why would you make that up? You just go, cause did you see it? Yeah. Like when they asked the they asked the fresh kid, what's his name? Pinot? Uh yeah. Well, uh, can you just Google it for a sorry. second? Just, just get a Google. <laughs> yeah. Cause he had a French name. What's his name? Cause what they did the uh <laughs> the police officer I want a potato croquette bad. Yeah, and I need an impossible burger. It's what it is. Uh, they yeah, asked f- I want to fucking drink tonight. Yeah. You want yeah. some more brew? I've been out of bed. Yeah, I want to fucking massage my, my dad balls. died. I'm sad. It's what it is. Yeah. I almost jumped in his casket. You look comfy walking in there. Yes, look at us. We both pretended to kiss the icon, though. Yeah, kissing I, the icon's fucking wild. Yeah, kissing the Greek icon was fucking wild. And I got to be honest with you, about 20 minutes into that funeral mass, I wanted to yell at the priest and say, Speak English, guy. You're in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> he was speaking Greek. He was Greek. speaking Greek. And I said, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. George just came out on that. Yeah. And I think the kid didn't wear underwear underneath his priest rope. Yeah. His I, butt cheeks look like they were stuck to the rope. I can't take you seriously with the rainbow flag on both shoulders. It's what it is. And I got no chain on my chain's broken. Yeah. Well, how did the chain break? I don't know. It just won't connect to the piece anymore. So if somebody fixes chain, you got to come fix my chain, guy. Yeah. I got I have a. I have a hunch why it may not work. What do you think? Because I think your mom got it for you in high school, so I don't think it's an expensive chain. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah, yeah. But- she's not going to get her 16-year-old kid an expensive chain. The kid goes to Christ the yeah, King, she and she's a-, a single mom. She's got bills to pay. She's got bills to pay. She's an HR manager. The rest of her money goes to the welfare. Store. That's what it is. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about Pocahontas? I do, but what was I about to say before that? Well, Pocahontas will get fucking banged out. The down. guy on the Twin Towers? Oh, yeah. What's his name? Um, Cares it's some fucking no no we're gonna do an episode on him it's amazing okay I saw that thing who cares have you seen it yeah Yeah, you saw the documentary documentary? I saw it he bothered me I wish he would have been rope walking on nine eleven I fucking bothered me why yeah let's find out why just a little because French people just fucking because once in a while your real personality comes out yeah and you you know because a lot of times you have Hollywood padding on yeah you're like a football player wearing a lot of PC padding yeah and then once in a while just Ridgewood shoots out of your face yeah because it's like he just bothered me because he was French and he's foreign and I want to catapult him over the yeah, yeah, that's what you want to say. Because when I went to Paris, like everybody speaking French and looking at me like I'm an asshole for speaking English. Like, God, we won all the fucking wars. That's right. So that's it's like, I don't want to speak your dumb fucking language. And also now I got fucking fry boots on, so I'll kick you in the face to 500. Yeah, that's right. But and you- that kid Arnie who sold them to me from the fry store will get banged out. 
<laughs> He's a fucking little Twinkie Stinky, and I'll bang him out. Yeah, he was a Twinkie <laughs> Stinky. Yeah, I'll stick him in one of the fry boots. That kid had a little tortellini touch. Yeah, that kid had a fucking baby tortellini touch. Yeah, Felipe Petit. Felipe hey, Petit. That's yeah. you. You're That's your life. You're a kid who's tightrope walking between two towers, and when the cops asked Felipe Petit why he would do that, he goes, this is such an American question to ask, why? Did you see it? Yeah. And that's you. That's what it is. And they say, Chrissy, why would you say that? Why would you make those things up and cause such problems for yourself? You go, did you see it? Yeah. You see how fucking wild Fuck. it is? Yeah, Thank and shout out to the guy who DM'd me. I won't reveal his name, um, or maybe I will. Um, shout out to the guy who DM'd me who said, um, asked me if the Father Bill stuff was true. Um, That's and, a kid who got touched. And, and said, and I was like, oh, it's just a character piece. And he goes, well, he goes, whenever you want to actually talk about it, let me know. He said, just know that there's other brothers that went through what you went through. And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, I made the whole thing up. It's character piece. <laughs> yeah. Character piece. It's just what it is. Look, even if it, we didn't make it up, you're never going to know because we're just going to tell Zach to press the character piece button. Yeah. So that's the that's the brilliance of our podcast. We're a couple of tightrope walkers and we're a couple of FFs. Piece. Yeah, and news travels quick because I lied at the Gramercy Theater show and said that 420 was cheating on me in Italy, which wasn't true. And then I met 420. Uh, I talked to 420 this morning on FaceTime and she said somebody was at the show and knows who she is, yeah. is a fan, and asked what happened. And are we still together? So it's just kind of getting wild. Yeah, it's just inevitable. Yeah. I mean, it's a you're you being in a relationship or somebody taking you seriously is like going to watch a guy at a rodeo. Right. You're on a horse. Yeah. I'm, we all know eventually you're falling off that horse. It's what it is. We're just watching to see how long you stay on. Yeah, but it's it, it enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride while it's here. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you for everybody coming out to our live shows. They were a big hit, big it's success. Really fucking sold out. You can get both episodes only on Patreon, patreon.com slash Boys. We have also hit a thousand Patreon members. So you know what that means. That means look at me. I'm Sandra D, the video starring Chris Stefano, and me, Mike Emoji Face, yep. and Zach Isis as Frenchie and the rest of those fucking twats is coming soon. It's coming soon. I can't wait to fucking put on one of my mom's nightgowns. <laughs> It's going to be real funny when yeah. you turn around because it's going to be from the back with your blonde hair and then you turn around and it's just going to... you. If you were a trans kid, yeah, it would just... How could it not be funny? Yeah, I have a picture of me dressed as a woman. You never I know. saw that? It's really funny because you don't... You just I could, you don't have soft features. I could pull it off. Yeah. I Like if I started taking... Uh, You're with, mostly estrogen. I'm mostly That's estrogen fine. anyway. Yeah. So if I just filled in the rest of the 50%, yeah. <laughs> I'd be bangable. Yeah. You could never get rid of that fucking crow magnum forehead. I can't do it. You have... Every European person of European descent we've talked about before has about 1% to 5% or 2 to 5% Neanderthal, Neanderthal. DNA. Yep. You got five. Yeah. You went I the got, full five. I got Neanderthal head. Yeah. Yeah. And Zach has five when he's poor, and when he gets rich, he's going to look down to two. Yeah, it's just what it I is. I mean, the kid looks like he's been fucking... He looks like he is Saddam Hussein's butler in the cave. It's what it's it is. Lucas. And he's wearing a lot of... He's wearing a lot of 14 shirts. Hey, he is wearing a lot. By the way, real quick, before we get into both... We're firing Elvis! Yeah, I just... Yeah, the kid's fired. It's charged too much for the shirts. That's Lucas. Guy wants more money for shipping. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. We're just kidding. Well, we are. Well, we're not because <laughs> Benny T sent the email. Um, <laughs> check your inbox. Um, so um, <laughs> <laughs> this show is this show is fucking wild. I mean, it's uh, wild, but we, who cares? Yeah. Listen, we also got um, uh, Giannis. Do you have any, you have Gotham comedy in February? Yeah, What's Gotham the next date you got coming up? Yeah, I got uh, February. Hopefully, we'll okay. fill that in. But for right now, it's just New York, February. New Jersey. You catch me at Gotham, and then you can catch me at Uncle Vinny's. Go to GiannisPappasComedy.com. I'm going to start promoting those big. We're going to go big. And Mike Mike Suarez will be with me for both shows. Yes. And, and you never know when Chrissy's going to pop in, and you never know when we're just going to fucking... We're just going to have a sword fight where a penis is on stage. Well, yeah. It's, you can, for, me, for my shows, you could go to ChrisDComedy.com. I got Gotham Comedy Club on uh, November 29th. November 30th is sold out. Um, and then in January, uh, January 2nd to the 4th, I got the Denver Comedy Works. Um, and also, sorry, November 21st to the 23rd, House of Comedy in Bloomington, Minnesota. So uh, go get those tickets. And, of course, HistoryHyenas.com for all our merch and everything. Um, and you can go play Chrissy Whack-A-Mole on HistoryHyenas.com now. 
Yeah, and you can go play, play Chrissy Whackamole on historyhyenas.com. And Mike Suarez, a.k.a. Mikey Mochiface, will be opening up for me um, at uh, on at Gotham Comedy Club on November 29th and 30th. And maybe Sergio Chacon, uh, Blizzy Face. I forgot if I booked him or not. You can't uh, remember. It's just what it is. She hasn't uh, put it up yet, the, the Whackamole. There's, uh, you can press Zach's buttons, right, still? Yeah, yeah at least I'll yeah. do those. So. Yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a character piece. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty soon she's going to put up Chrissy Whackamole where you can play a game and you, Chrissy pops up and you you click yeah. the button. It's fun. Yeah, she's the best. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, all right, Tony yeah. Cassis, we love you. Yeah, so let's go. To, let's go to Pocahontas because now you know our, our truffle pig manager wants to start getting ten percent. So there's a new schedule. <laughs> um, so it's That's just what it's, it's not going to touch the Patreon. Never. Yeah, uh, it's what it is. And guys, thank you. The Patreon that w- w- that pays our production costs. Guys, I mean the only the more money you get, the more Chrissy wants to be here. Yeah, we're uh, able to give. We're able to do this podcast so much more now because of you know we got to pay for studio time and we got to pay for the sound people. That, you know, there's all a lot of costs that come out, so we're not pocketing um, any money. The trips that Giannis and I are going to go be going on to Aruba was paid for by somebody else. Um, it's lying. It's you. Um, no, <laughs> <That's low cast. laughs> I'm kidding. I'm no, joking. but while we're here, I just want to give a shout out to uh, we have a new fucking oh my God. general business sponsor. So thank you for joining. Yeah, our first one, of course, is Tank Sinatra, the great Tank Sinatra. Tank's good news. Tank's good news is the Instagram. Yeah, go to Tank's good news. Follow Tank Sinatra. Yeah, small business support owner, and now we just got a second one, James Altucher, um, who's um, who's like he's the first like Bitcoin millionaire. Yeah, um, he's a famous guy. Well-known guy. He owns Stand Up Stand Up New York uh, uh, Uptown. Yeah. I've heard him on the Tony Robbins podcast, and he was so much uh, genius ways about how to invest money, and he's a, like a he's a venture capitalist. He's a screwed in screwed kid. Screwed in kid, and he's now a small business supporter. So it's like, we got screwed in, we got screwed in fucking kids all over giving us 500 a month. I mean, what's your excuse? Yeah, what's your excuse? Because now we're fucking moving tickets, Yeah, and we got a lot of people listening. We got about 100,000 people listening. Yeah. Why yeah. not? It's from the New Yorker magazine. Magazine. So we got about a hundred thousand people listening. <laughs> so if yeah. you're a small business sponsor, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, sign up. Me and Chrissy are gonna make personal videos for you, put them yeah. all over our social media, and now you're an official sponsor of the History Hyenas, and you're gonna get your ad read every episode. Yeah. Yep. Uh so does James want to talk about uh stand up New York or just himself? We don't know yet. I don't know yet. He, he just joined today. We're giving him an early shot out. Yeah, no, we yeah. All right. Yeah. No. But we're, thank you. Thank you too. Yeah. We're at a hundred thousand downloads. And uh, but uh, stand up New York is a club he owns. It's a, one of the best comedy clubs in the world. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And uh, so um. Yeah. Let's yeah. Pocahontas. Let's talk about Pocahontas. Um. Now you know we've all seen the animated movie. We've all seen the animated movie. I now, haven't. Giannis's rule, of course, is because she's um, she's you know a little dark in complexion that she does have fumes, and there's no way around that. That's not, that's not my wait, wait, oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't know where you're, ma- you're making <laughs> yeah. it up. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, Chris. You remember the first couple episodes where we were just going wild, 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 wild? Yeah. Now we're a little more buttoned up. Okay. Now we're trying to distance ourselves from the original meanings of everything. Yeah. So, fumes just means is she a good person or a bad person? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so she, it's, Pocahontas has no fumes, Poca- no yeah. fumare, but I guess Pocahontas is a very controversial figure because it depends on, some people think she was a traitor, right, Mike? Some absolutely, people, yeah, absolutely, yeah. they do. <laughs> also, Native Americans don't have body hair, so I don't know if they'd have fumes. Yeah, they oh, have really? No, no, yeah. no fumare. Because see, he's more accurate. My actual theory was it's all about the hair. As an, and as a matter of fact, you know what? Water, I take, water. I take it back. I take it back. There's no way that Pocahontas had fumes because she's a Native American, and that means she was the first American citizen. So if you're if you're an American, you don't have fumes. That's the no ho 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 fumes. Exactly. School of Chrissy D. Right. She's there. fucking red, white, and blue. Because if you were a history teacher, kids would love you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So she de- she has no fumade. She has no fumade. Um, she um, was part of the Mataponi tribe, um, which meant the people of the river. And that's exactly how they pronounced it too. The Mataponi. It was like listen, we're Native Americans and we're part of the Mataponi tribe. Yeah, and and <laughs> say where she was born. <laughs> yeah, she was born in Wero Wacomoco, Virginia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's no cast. There should be a podcast where kids from New York just say fucking foreign stuff. Yeah. <laughs> not even foreign. It's where are Wolf Virginia? Well, yeah. I mean, but it's but it's named after a Native American thing. Yeah. Yeah, her name she's from Where um Where, where, are, where, are, where, are, where are, Coco, Coco, Loco, Virginia. Um she died at twenty one. I mean she was a young kid when she died, but she got banged out by John Smith when she was a kid. Yeah. That's the thing, another uncomfortable truth. It's like I'm watching the cartoon with my daughter. John Smith is a jacked white guy. You know, of course they make him a villain at the you know, at some part. 
some point. Um, and, you know, he does fucked up shit. And then Pocahontas is this young, beautiful girl. But none of that's true. The truth is that if she did get banged out, she was probably like 14 years old. Right. And it's just SLKS. Was the episode we did on John Rolfe? It might have been on John Rolfe. We never did anything. We, we James, did. There's James Rolfe. That's who she actually married. Yeah, we did. No, his name was John, John Rolfe. Rolfe. Sorry. John. Yeah, and I think we did the, the we, we did the episode on Plymouth, or we did it on tobacco. Tobacco. Tobacco yeah. might tobacco have been. Tobacco was wild, and so, that's why we talked about Pocahontas, because we talked about John Rolfe, who was her husband. Right. 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 We disciplined her. So this, yeah, because- she, If the know. corn was overcooked, she got disciplined. <laughs> it's what it is. By myself, I'll take you physically. Um, yeah, her nickname, Pocahontas, was the playful one. So she's probably a fucking young little piece. Yeah, coming out of that that uh, teepee. I would love to see you in a little Native American skirt dancing around a fire. Fifteen hundred Patreon members. I'm going to reenact. I'm going to be Pocahontas dancing around the we fire. Just yeah. figured it out. What it is? There we go. Write it down, Mikey. Fifteen hundred. I'll join you. Me and Chrissy will hop around. All, all four of us, right? He'll, yeah, we'll all four dance of us. around. We'll all yeah. dance around, but Chrissy yeah, and then will we'll skin Venetia's head. Yeah. We'll <laughs> that scalp was the, her. See, that's when the Scout German comes out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Scout that's just, yeah. that's the Hessian deep 14. in you. Yeah. That's the fucking Hessians are sick. I'm going to shave somebody's head. Yeah, you're a fucking sick, disturbed German I'm kid. I'm disturbed. But Chrissy will dress up as Pocahontas, and I'll dress up as John Rolfe, and I'll bang him out. It's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for 2,000. 1,500 would dance around a fire for 2,000. 2000, he's getting fucking banged out. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah, we're gonna get Mike, we're gonna get Mike to open his ass on a webcam for no, 2000. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is up with the fucking open ass? Sorry. Guys? We're trying to get McDonald's to sponsor. Oh, us. yeah, that's right. Sorry. I love I love McDonald's. Yeah, and I, yeah, I love Yo, if the love stack ba, 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 ba. Do, Yeah, if Love Stack doesn't start giving us fucking money, we're just gonna start calling it live from the beanbag. Yeah, live from the beanbag. Yeah, I mean love you how ha- do you know how much love we're giving Love Sack? Yeah. People send me love set that they're the love sack store almost every day. I know. If you don't fucking if love sack, if you don't start paying attention to what's going on and yeah. po- sponsor this podcast, we're gonna start calling it a snuggie. Yeah, we're gonna start calling it a snuggie. Or I'm just gonna say live from the nutsack. Yeah, live. <laughs> and I'm just gonna press the fucking button and put it on my sack. It's what it is. Um, That's look right. ass. So, um, I think it's hilarious you don't have your shoes on because they hurt. Yeah, I got no. Yeah, because they just hurt in my feet. You're a real working girl. I'm a working girl. Um, yeah, I um, I uh, oh, you know what? Actually, can we just make a little addendum? Yeah, can we just make a little addendum. You to- shouldn't know the word addendum. Just a little addendum to the you made it you made it big in the city to the Pocahontas one at fifteen hundred instead of Pocahontas. This is just we'll take. I know if Venati was here, she'd be yelling at us that we're talking business on the show. But just real quick, what about instead of that, we just do a photo or we reenact the scene where I can be Joey Robertson, Pretty Woman, and you be Richard Gere. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Pretty woman, pretty woman. Can we do that? That's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be a huge big mistake. Yeah, huge big mistake. Or we do the scene where we talk money. We that scene we talk I about? just want to be in that blue skirt with the white shirt, or I want to just be snuggled with you in the bathtub. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna reenact something from Pretty Woman, though. Something, a scene yeah. from Pretty Woman. Okay. Where I'm Julia Roberts, and you're Richard Gere. Even better. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that one. So which scene though? Because we'll, I'm not. A, we'll figure Richard it out. G- we'll figure that. We'll figure out. Yeah. Or yeah. we could just do a montage because we do have to do a scene where he gets to say "big mistake, huge." For sure. Yeah. 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 I said it at the live podcast, and it was hit. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. You don't so, make sense, cause you don't yeah, make sense. I know. You like baseball too. I like baseball. So you like sports and pretty women. Yep. You don't yeah. make sense. Yep. You don't make sense, and that's why sometimes I feel like you just need to get fucking squeezed down. Yeah. You need to be put there. Some people should not be walking around who like baseball and pretty woman. It's just there what should it is. be nobody who knows the starting lineup of the New York Yankees and also pretty woman word for word. Yeah. That shouldn't be a thing. It's, that shouldn't be a thing in this world. It's what it is. Okay, but you you exist, and that's why it, you're you're a threat to order. Yeah. You're a threat to order. Yeah. I mean, you you defy society. <laughs> you're defying gender norms, and I, I you're making me uncomfortable, and I need to take you up to a hill and squeeze a fucking bolt in the back yeah. of your head. Yeah, the other- You need to be put down like a mad dog. Yeah, the other day- The other day- I need to put you down like Lenny from Of Mice and Men. Yeah, I was watching Pretty Woman, and I For was- squeezing puppies. I was eating some of my daughter's Lunchables and Heineken. Yeah. <laughs> That's look at ass. Yeah, you don't yeah, make I sense. I don't make sense. Yeah, it's you just, don't make sense. But it's just what it is, right? Yeah, you don't make sense. What can we do? I got rainbow flags on my shoulders. I'm ready to suck cock. And you don't have your shoes on. And I got no shoes on. And my feet don't have... Fu- I don't have any fumade. You have no... Because you, you have no hair in your body. See, yeah. That, that, and Irish kids don't have any hair in my body. So maybe that's... It's really about the hair. No, hair smells. Because every time... So I've Mike had, has fumes. Every time I've had a problem going down on a girl, I think it's like the, the fumes are from the hair. Yeah, Because any time it's like the, there's no hair there... You ever notice that? Or is that yeah. just me? I don't know. There's no fumare. 
Right? Any time I go, any time I go down, I go. I just, it's, I, I can't even smell because I just get strep. You get strep immediately. Yeah, so I just have to take antibiotics immediately. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. and you never got that role in a movie. I know. That's what it is. <laughs> That's look at. Come at me. Um, um, so, so the reason why Pocahontas was is so well known is because you know it's Jamestown, Virginia, the first settlement. She played a big part in that. The 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 tribe that she was from was right on the outskirts of Jamestown. So um, she was the daughter of the. Uh, she was kind of like the situation that she had just a couple of white guys around her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like John Rolfe and John Smith. There was yeah. just a couple of John Doe's. She had to be hot. She, she had, had babies with a few guys. With a few guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The great Powhatan chief um, was was her father, and um, he ruled over um, a lot of these tribes in the Chesapeake area. Um, so that's kind of where Jamestown area was. So some people say that Pocahontas could have been about ten years old when John Smith. And the other colonists arrived in, it's, I think it was called Tessanacoma. Or it's, se- it's hard to pronounce. Or it might be, the, the T might be silent. Senecomoca. Senecomoca yeah. in 1607. Yeah, just call it Savage Territory but it, did she, in the spring of 1607. Wait, 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 wait. Zach's, Zach's here today. Yeah, thank you. Just um, she, but what, what age was she when she got banged out? Like 13, 14? Well, I mean, she died at 21. So she so got banged out like 13, 14. She might have been 13, 14. God, that was what She diff- got married at 17. Married at 17. She was apparently never actually involved with John Smith. Yeah. So it was she was all- just John Rolfe. So, what, so yeah. where did the John Smith... She okay. saved his life. So why is she banging out John Smith in the cartoon? She probably banged him out. I mean, yeah. off the record, probably. Probably banged him out, but she saved him. Yeah. Well, they say... She, she saved him. Not have like the story is that he was going to get executed, and then she and then she stood up for him. Um, now they say, well, they actually were just having a conversation about the settlement, and she didn't actually save him. This is a better story that way. Right. Yeah. So yeah. It's it's really she's really become myth. Yeah. She's like America's I mean, even John Jesus. Smith is more of a myth. They're not sure that he could have been an English soldier, an explorer, a governor. They don't know. Like even John Smith is like, th- th- you have to understand in the 1600s, like. It's still hard. I mean, it's 1607. Yeah. So it's like it's just hard to document anything and it to survive that long. You know, it'd be a, you know, it'd be a funny um, like history Us Weekly segment. What? You know, in Us Weekly, they always do like those things like couples at the store or like uh, couples with an age difference. Right. They always yeah. do that one. Yeah. History couples with an age difference would be hilarious in history because yeah, it'd be like everyone. King, King John the Second, 62. His wife, Victoria the Third. Eight. 14. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or 8. Yeah, because the kid was 27. She was like 12. Yeah. John Smith was 20. If they did bang out, John Smith was 27, and she was she died at 21. So she might have met him when she was 10, 12, 13. Yeah. And how old was John Rolfe? How old John was- Rolfe was like, was like, you know, I think I think he might have been about 27, 28. So it's not like he was so old. So but he's ba- it's basically pedophilia back then was okay. It's all was. That's all it was, you know? I mean, society is the ones... Our society... You know, nowadays, I mean, I, the the age of consent has to be what it is because well, it makes but it has to the be mind. What, but I, back then, it was more primitive. You know, especially yeah. yeah, because look, girls' period came down. They were like, "Oh, she's ready," which right. is horrifying to think about, but it was the truth. We were closer to the animal. We all were closer to the animals. There were certain points in history where we, we really climbed out of that. The Renaissance, yeah. right. sort of ancient Greece. Well, world. no, I'll tell you. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about this. Um, in a future episode, because I'm just reading the books now, but I'm reading all about the Crusades, and it was really the Crusades, is what these scholars are saying, is that when we went from animal to, like, using perfume, showering, it was like, back in the Crusades times, and, like, when the first Crusades, in, like, the 10s, 11th, 11th, 12th century, they would bathe maybe once a month. Let's just say it, that's the first great rivalry in sports history. Yeah. Muzzies versus Christians. Muzzies versus Christians. It's the Yankees and Red Sox of history. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah. That's a good clip. Cut yeah. it there. Yeah. Yes. Look at us. So, yeah. So, we'll get all into that in a future episode. But, I mean, the Crusades are so fucking fascinating so far. Yeah. Um, but, uh, um, but yeah, they used to, I mean, part of, of giving your daughter away at that point was to get her out of your house and have something traded for her, like a sure. donkey or a couple well, of chickens. Yeah, it was yeah. all business back then. Yeah. It was like, you know. And let's just be honest. The, the Native Americans got ripped the fuck off. They did. They got ripped off. To, they just didn't know what they were doing. I mean, these kids sold the island in Manhattan for like 20 bucks. I mean, yeah, they really got yeah. ripped off. I mean, what are you going to do, yeah. you know? I mean, I'd be like, yo, Indians, you guys need new management. Yeah, it's what it is. You yeah. need the truffle pig. Yeah, you need the truffle <laughs> Uh, if the Native Americans had the truffle pig, they would have got more land. Yeah. They just have bad representation. Yeah, they, they would have got more land than just, they would, you would have tried to get them a sitcom. Yeah, um, I mean, your career, you, they're funny kids, they just had the wrong management. It's what it is. Yeah. 
Um, they say that part of that is that they didn't understand the concept of ownership, right? right? Yeah. Well, and even and even like you know, it's it's it seems like so horrible. Like, what father would ever do that? Sell their daughter off now, or very few. Like, I, there would be no scenario where I could think of even doing that. But you got to understand, back in the day, um, again, no excuse, but it's just different. You know, children had an eighty percent mortality rate, so it was very. There is you, you become desensitized to how much you. Lo- I mean, you love your children, but it's like. Most people had ch- they dealt with. It was very common for everyone in the village to deal with dead kids. Yep. So it's like they they looked started looking at them as valuable assets for the family. It was understood. That's why religion became so important because you know back in these times it's like your existence was so miserable. So what could you do? You could say, well, there's a there's an afterlife and there's this kingdom in heaven that I will go to and I will see these people again if I make the right moves here on earth. So it's it's easier now to not have religion be so prominent in your life because things are good on this planet. But back then, they weren't. Everybody was dying. There was disease, famine, war, all that stuff. So religion, the idea of a kingdom and religion and separating from your, you know, selling a daughter into slavery to make money was kind of okay because you believed, I'm going to see my daughter in the afterlife and be with her in eternity anyway. Right. It was just a lot more brutal, a lot more harsh. Even Pocahontas died at 21 years old from some unknown... They said it could have been smallpox, it could have been tuberculosis, um, it could have been poison. You really don't know. She just got gravely ill. Because don't forget, back in the day, if you caught a fever, yeah. you could have been dead. Right. Like a fever. There's nothing to help you. Right. You know, people are like, oh yeah, it's just a fever. You get over it in two days. Yeah, because you're taking medicine. Right. You know what to do. It's like, back in the day, think about there's nothing to help you. Your brain boils and you die. Okay, right. that's what happens. And even there was a high mortality rate uh, amongst mothers too, not just the children. Sure, it was like yeah, Pocahontas's mother died, so she died giving in childbirth, birth. giving yeah. birth. So yeah, and I would I would probably surmise that Pocahontas died from some bacteria or virus she was exposed to going to England, because that's the amazing thing about her. That's why she became the star of history is because she actually went to England. Sure. Converted to Christianity. Yeah. And then was put on display as like this civilized, as they used to call in history, quote unquote, the old uh, English expression or colonial expression, noble savage. Yeah. So she was shown off as this noble savage. She was exposed to, because white people, let's just say this about white people in history. Let's say it and say it loud. Let's say it and say it loud. Dirty fucking kids. Yeah. I mean, Dirty kids. Dirty kids. Carried a lot of germs and had much fumare. Dirty kids, but you know, I mean, without us, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess Zach didn't need Zach, to where, yeah. where, 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 I mean, yeah, I was just mean, kidding. Just, you're going to let that, that one just hung up there like a fart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, I mean, we got to the moon. That was yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 Oh. Donks, do, the, the Honka Donks did go to the moon. We went as to the moon. Yeah. And Pocahontas, um, when she got baptized uh, into Christianity, she changed her name to Rebecca. She was the original Becky. She's the original. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then she married John Rolfe at 17, which is a little young. But I mean, you know, 17, it's like, you know, it's some ages. Of, you can legally. I think marry a girl now at 17 in some states, right? So it's, and it's was Virginia, so it's like, what are you going to do? I'm always confused by that. What is it? Is it state by state or is it a federal law? State by state. Wow. So, yeah. like, if you cross lines, you're committing a felony, and if you don't. I think 16 is national, but like some states are 17, I believe. I, I could be wrong. Am I wrong? I thought it was 18. Uh, eight. Uh, I think 18, I you're know. good. Mikey has I've no never, I idea. I don't worry about that yeah. since I was 18. If we ask Mikey a question, if it doesn't relate to anime, it's a 50 50 toss up if he knows. Yeah. Up, what you guys talk about? Yeah, yeah. Why well, you looked it up? Well, no, I need the notes. <laughs> so, summer, summer, 16. summer sixteen. Some, yeah. some states are sixteen. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's really when, um, you know, like Yana said, Pocahontas goes to London with John Rolfe, and she's kind of like, you know, she wasn't a princess. Well, keep in mind, Pocahontas. A lot of people think she was a princess. She was not a princess no. in the Poetan culture. She was just the chief's daughter. But the Virginia Company presented her. Yeah. To the English, as of this fucking princess. So it was like, you know, they, it's all marketing, guy. History is marketing. Geography is destiny. Yeah. History is marketing. Yeah, you've been marketed poison. You've been marketed. Most of the people who you were marketed are really not that funny. Yeah. Because the funny's happening right, right here. Right here. No, but I'm saying it's all marketing. The same thing. This is why she's famous to this day. They just marketed her right. It's there also was- companies. The Virginia Company, the West Indian Company. These companies were the ones who were really running the show. Yeah, I mean, America's a company. We're you a gotta company. understand that you're, this is a business it's that you're a, living within these walls. You're, you're working for us. It's America Inc. It's America Inc. That's where we live. 
It's Paul, what it is. She was kind of kidnapped in a way. We no, don't not know. Not in a way. She was kidnapped. She was kidnapped. Yeah. yeah. But the thing about her is it. she does, her name, Pocahontas, means playful one in, in the Utu Utu language or whatever. Sure. I don't remember. Which I support. Yeah. Yeah, which that was a funny special by the Utu Utu comedian that yeah. just got a special on Netflix. It's what it is. Wait, Wait, so Thank you for clearing right. the air, Zach. We're just joking. It's a fucking character. No, I'm piece. not talking about anyone specific. I'm yeah. just saying piece. everybody on Netflix gets a special if you fuck it, if you're anything but white with skinny jeans. Yeah, right. no, it's a, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a character, <laughs> piece. character my piece. Is Shaw, my name's Sean Terry. Every yeah. time I turn on TV to watch a special, I, I don't know what these fucking kids are saying. Yeah, it's I'm just Democrat after fucking Democrat. Yeah. You know, they're not talking to me. Yeah. They act, they're acting like I don't live in this fucking country. Yeah. I protect this fucking country. Yeah. I want to see some fucking comedy by Shane Gillis. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> What's this fucking a, special coming out? It's coming out. Yeah, That's no, a good fucking I'm camp. telling you, I'm telling you, you fucking tell me. You fucking tell me what the difference is between some of these recent Netflix specials and the Democrat national debate. It's the same fucking thing. It's the same thing. fucking thing. It's the same fucking thing. I just see Anderson Cooper fucking waving his fucking gay flag around. That's what it is. It's a character piece. Shame. That was just jokes. That's a play. We're, we're doing it's, called, it's called Ladder 14. It's called Ladder 14. Ladder 14. I'm 14. just kidding because I love Anderson Cooper. Tell you the truth, he's a fucking handsome kid, and, and I'd like to kiss him on the lips and suck the bottom. Yeah, I, we're just a couple firefighters. We're trying to make it bigger in the city. It's just what it is. I'm yeah. just I'm just kidding. You know, I fucking, I, I love them. I, I love them all. But yeah, there's a couple of uh, my peer my peer comedians, uh, you know, who are just going to get their heads flushed down the toilet. I'm it's, talking to you. Yeah, or the fucking face is going mashed potatoes. Yeah, your face could go in the mashed potatoes. I've just fucking had enough. Okay? Yeah. And some of these female comedians, I'm going to start walking up to you and kissing you on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz, are you full out of the closet now, Republican? I'm fully out of the closet. You called oh. me the other day and you said you're coming full out of the closet, Republican. Yeah, I'm fucking, I've just had enough. I mean, tr- if are I, you full Republican? Yeah, if I could vote for Trump right now, I'd do it right now. It's a character piece. It's just a character piece. Patrick Lotta O'Reilly 14. wants to start voting character for Trump because he fights fires every day, so he wants to put the vote in early. Yeah, because a lot of firefighters do lean to the right side. So this is just to play a couple characters we work on. A couple kids from the outer boroughs who happen to fucking vote right when they go into the booth. It's and what that's it, what it is. It's what it is. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, you just know. Yeah, what you're gonna see is two things when I fucking go into that voting booth. When I come out, you're gonna see two things on that vote. You're gonna see a fucking big check mark in the Republican side, and you're gonna see some sauce stains because I'm gonna have to go in there with a chicken palm here. And it's what it is. <laughs> and it's just what it is. Yeah. So Pocahontas, right, so, Pocahontas, you, Pocahontas oh. kept peace. That's yeah. the thing. Like right. That's the back big thing. then. You gotta understand they had got they were they kept were constantly going to war, right? The 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 Jamestown settlement. Uh, and, and the and the, those Indian tribes, because the chief they they were a bunch of tribes, but he had unified them. So in that area, there was like a bunch of fucking tribes right. that were unified because they used to all fight with each other. But he unified them, and um, they would got, they would get along for a little while. But then the white man would encroach on their land a little bit. There'd be fights, and Pocahontas was someone who was kind of keeping the peace a little bit. She'd yeah. bring fucking corn. She was a peace keeping the peace. She was a peace keeping the peace. Yeah. Well, that was one of the things that they did. Uh, them and the English settlers got together uh, to kind of gang up against the Spaniards who were. Really trying to fuck people over. Well, right? yeah, the Fiestas had a lot of power back in those days. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah they did the Fiestas. Yeah, yeah. Way that's okay. They were doing yeah. parties. Yeah, I like their festive people. I'm yeah. being serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Do we have to waste Shanxi and Fiestas? No, no, like, no Fiestas. I'm saying it's a happy word. Yeah, but Fiestas is more Latin people. Oh, not yeah. Spanish. Oh, the Spanish. Oh, the yeah. Spanish are from Spain. No, well, you can call it. Is them... Mike from Spain? Yeah, Mike's Mike from Spain. Mike from Spain. We'll make fun of that, but Mike from Mexico is from Spain. Yeah, Mike, have you ever thought about doing vo- voiceover work for suck? What was his name? Suck a damn fast. Sakati Seth? What was the guy's name? Sylvester. 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 No, Mike, Mike, Mike should do the voiceover for whatever bank is the Bank of Spain. Yeah, you should. I'm, <laughs> I'm the bank of, my name's Mike Swords and I'm a spokesman for the Bank of Spain, Santander. Yeah, you just <laughs> you should play you should just play Enrique Iglesias whenever you can. Yeah. Because you go to España and then you just went to Ibiza. A, a beat. Yeah. Or Espanol. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, wow, Mike, you can speak fluent Spanish, right? He's a right? fucking Mexican. Oh, you can? Hey. Yeah. Yo, um, I was shocked when I went to Texas. I told you, there's a lot of Mexicans who are Americans. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Take it away, shang Wei 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 Um It's like everyone is surprised when they go down there. No, um, you know what it is? Real quick, okay. There's different Americas, though. Okay. It's like the Northeast, the West, and the Southwest are, like, different. You have Spanish influence. We have English influence. Right. From uh, Spain. Yeah. yeah. Not All Gloria right. Stefan. Yeah, it's, okay. It's Spanish and German, actually. Spanish and German, yeah. yeah. All right, so this is, you know, and also just real quick, just a quick, quick little side note. The first Thanksgiving was uh, in 1621, and the Harvest Feast was in uh, Plymouth, um, and it was likely in September or October. And I'm bringing that up to say, because I want to say, I want to do a fuck, marry, kill, or as we coined it, um, we call it, uh, instead of fuck, marry, kill, we do um, uh, fuck is Coco. Married is Yanni husbands, kill is Poughkeepsie. Yeah. So I want to do a fuck, marry, kill with you right now, Yannis, okay. or as we're saying, a uh, Coco, Yanni husbands, Poughkeepsie, John Smith, uh, Pocahontas, or mashed potatoes. 
Wow. Okay. I'm going to kill John Smith. Wow. Yeah, because there's one less white man on this planet, and that's just going to make Apu happy. Yes. Okay, so John that's Smith, okay. he's fucking out of here. Okay. Who I'm going to bang out is mashed potatoes. Yeah. Because I love fucking mashed potatoes. Yeah. I'm going to stick them in every orifice. Yeah. And then who I'm going to marry is fucking my piece of a wife, Pocahontas, but she's going to die a, a, a year after dating because I got few. Yeah, and Mrs. Pops, if you're listening, if you think if you don't think you're going to get banged down tonight and he's going to call you Pocahontas, you got another thing coming. You got coming. another thing coming. It's what you it got is. got another thing coming. Um, all right. So that was Pocahontas. Um, it was cute. We're going to read the Patreon names. Now, guys, buckle up. There's a lot of Patreon names. Yeah. Okay? And thank you guys so much for your service. There's a lot of Patreon names. And because there's so many names, I just have to go pee quick. And I know Venetia is going to get mad at me, but, I mean, she's at work in Florida, so who cares? <laughs> so you honestly read the uh, sponsors <laughs> while we're doing that? Yeah. When, when Venetia, she's in Florida, it's work. You got to put it in air quotes. Okay. Uh, we're uh, we'll, Let's just talk. read our sponsors real quick. Guys. Uh, stick around. We got more coming up when Chris um, deals with his drip. But uh, we're brought to you, as always, by 9th Street Auto Collision. You know these kids. are out in the island. These kids are like celebrities now. When I post a video or a photo of them on our Instagram, like people light up because th these guys are history hyenas fucking celebrities. 9th Street Auto Collision out there on the island, Huntington Station. I don't even have copy in front of me. I know it by heart. Let's see if I can get the number. 631-531-5300. Now it's wrong. But whatever, go to 9th Street Auto Collision. Go see Frankie. He'll crack open your car and clean it out. Um, th there's nobody else to see if you live out there on the island. If you got a problem with your car, go to 9th Street Auto Collision in Huntington Station. I don't have the address in front of you because it's just one of those days. But, you know, it's the only auto collision spot that's named 9th Street that's not on fucking 9th Street. Then we're brought to you, of course, by our official CBD company the cbd company of the hyenas cbd script go to cbdscript.com put in promo code wild for 15 percent off your total order uh cbd script they got gummies edibles no fumes they're another company that's out there on the island go support cbd script if you buy cbd oil from them take a picture put it in your stories we'll repost it we want you guys supporting our sponsors these guys helped us get off the ground we're also brought to you by um nutrition made fun yeah Matt Koch, this kid, he's doing it. And we want all our hyenas to be healthy. So go to Nutrition Made Fun of the Gram, follow him. He's so entertaining, um, and he's got good tips. I've actually learned a lot from him, as you know. Nutrition Made Fun, he's got also a workout where he uses his bands to pull his eyes closer together. So go to Nutrition Made Fun on the Gram. We're also brought to you by uh, the, our favorite ass doctor, slash comedian, slash YouTube, whatever, celebrity, sneakerhead, Sadra Aziza. Why does it say Aziza here? It's Azizi. That's that's I. Uh, you spelt it wrong. I thought. I, yeah, I made a mistake. Yeah, Sorry. Sadra Azizi. Um, go to his uh, Doctor Souls on Instagram. Go to his YouTube channel, Doctor Souls. He's got funny medical videos, sneakerhead shit. Um, he's an aspiring comic as well, and we're gonna have him on the show eventually to talk about the history of ass doctoring. So, I mean, the kid is a full-on ass doctor. So, go follow Sadra Azizi. Um, we're also brought to you by Dr. Harvey Spencer Jr., um, our first inaugural sponsor, you know, down there in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Go get your teeth cracked open and cleaned out by Dr. Harvey Spencer Jr. and his wife. Please, somebody go. If you live in the area, go make a video of it. We can't wait till you do it. Follow him on the gram. Um, what is it? Healthy Smile at Rock Hill? Some shit. Yeah. I don't have the copy in front happy, of me. Happy, healthy smile. Ha healthy, healthy smile. Um, and, uh, and the uh, the granola one. Yeah, uh, Lakeside Maple came out Friday night. That kid came out. Cute kid. That kid screwed in, and doesn't Theo Vaughn do his stuff, too? I think Theo Vaughn wears his shirt. Yeah, I mean, the kid's just screwed in. He's marketing right because he's marketing with the hyenas. Lakeside Maple, I eat it every day now, and I'm not even lying. It's not even a joke. The kid gave us all such a huge supply. I throw it in my oatmeal, and some, I eat it. I eat the trail mix just straight up. I was eating it on the toilet this morning. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was killing two birds with one stone. I was having breakfast, taking a shit. <laughs> and uh, all three flavors are, are delicious. Ginger chai, spicy, original. Um, go get your Lakeside Maple at lakesidemaple.com. Promo code HYENAS15 to get 15% off yeah. your total order of Lakeside Maple. All right. So buckle up. Again, just real quick, as I always state, as we always state, we encourage funny names. If you don't want to have a make a funny name, you don't have the time, or you have a job where you can't do that, and you're just here for the content... That's okay. We just say your name. We'll say your name, and there'll be no laugh. It'll just be straight to the back here for the content. Unless you have a Ginzo 
last name, then we laugh at it. Um, okay, here we go. Starting off, Abraham, you're only getting a fin because the Reich took Grandpa's gold tea. The kid tried it. He yeah. went. He went. I like it. It's when a gymnast goes for a triple bath and just falls on the beam. Yeah, the thing is too with the Reich stuff, we're gonna we can't really laugh at it anymore because some of you idiots have been posting stupid memes. Yeah, you gotta stop. As look as. Uh, the next one, kind of in that vein, Rob, throw them in the microwave, Wilson. It's just funny, but you can't laugh. Wei Song Xian. That's a reference, but you know what? Japan did attack us first. Yeah, they did attack us. So first. that's a reference to, yeah. to, to the boys. Yeah, the boys I, doing something. You know, it's amazing that sushi restaurants just keep opening up. I mean, you know, never forget. Um, <laughs> Wei Francesca Zambrano. Sabrezi, Z- she's going to get that. That name comes with discipline. Yeah. Nick D here for the content. Nick D, the kid says he's a failed DJ. We already got one. Amy Boyles. That's a waspy girl, and she's going to murder. You can't mur- say stuff after every name because we have too many names. Okay, she's going to so murder. Only if it's really funny, just say something. She's going to murder her husband. Because there's pages and pages of this shit. Okay. okay. Uh, Jesse, one name. Duke Jizza of Cumtown. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Keep making note of that. Uh, Chrissy D and Yanni P, 2020. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Ray. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ray. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Um, crack open my bean and smash it into my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, count that. Uh, he's in the lead. He's in the lead. That uh, kid pulls ahead. Okay, Richie, don't know where the fuck I'm from, but I got a tiny piece, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Make a note. Jesus. Okay. Dominican immigrant here legally, but avoiding Chrissy Fourth Reich. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Holy shit. Okay. One named Cara. All three of those. Cara. And then we got uh, Sauce Monkey Epstein. Good uh, one. Good one. Danny Longballs Ferraro. Okay. That's <laughs> funny. funny. Yeah. I mean, these kids are cry- Clyde Drexlers. Ryan Creeble. Uh, here for, here the, for content. the content. Straight to the back. Abu the King. Abu, Abu the King? Or? Abu the King. Abu the King. Abu. Funny, though. Yeah. Then we got um, Clyde Drexler. Joe Carson. Yeah. Then we got wow, uh, Wasp. No, no Fumes, Mike Shadow Rope, and Chrissy D's Butthole while Bill Burr watched Bed. <laughs> <laughs> All one word. Funny, bed. but not on the but, level of the other three. Yeah. Clyde Drexler. Then we got Alex Gomez. Here for the content. Uh, Michael, Peter, John Buckland, Michael Lima. Tyler Eastern Hemi with skin covered in sin Italiano. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. These are getting so good. Yeah. Then we got Cody. Crack me open and clean me out with a side of sauerkraut. German. Yeah. It's yeah, goody, it's but it's a Clyde Drexler. Matt McClelland. Wow. Uh, Patrick just turned 21, so I've been moving the vegetables and developing. I don't know. It got cut off. I don't know what it said, but it's good, kid. Thank you for, yeah, thank for, you service. for your service. Benjamin, straight to the front. Let's drain the swamp of marinara monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got you got to put that one in. Jesus Christ, we get, we got we got a list. We're gonna have to narrow them down. Then we got Keenan from Westchester, but I still move hands, so don't mess with me, cuz. Yeah, that's a funny one, but he's a Clyde Drax. Tobin Scott, white kid. Chrissy D's catapult and White Walker's assistant, Trump twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny, but it's a Drexler. Drexler, okay. Drexler. It's a good one. That was a real. That's an honorable mention. Joe Cuzzy Wuzzy non toot Chrissy Boots, aka fucking cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no sorry sorry Joe Cuzzy Wuzzy non toot Chrissy's boots are fucking cute I mean that kid is funny. current too yeah, you just current. got new boots funny kid you gotta put him down then we got Dem D-E-M-E or Demi yeah it's a kid hiding from the law uh, then we got green eyed Leroy with a microwavable glue gun <laughs> <laughs> Hold, uh, you gotta put him and, down yeah and then we got um uh, Steven Petruzzo. How you doing? I got a van. Uh, Lucas, Lucas Vicroy. How you doing? And then we got Tyler, the lean, mean, half bean, eating ice cream for the protein. <laughs> <laughs> Another goodie. He's on the fence, and it, it, it fell on the own side of his net. Then we got Tony Balls, the half bean, Weishan Sheehan machine, and Uv- Uvula Fiend. That is a 10. That's a 10. That is a 10. Yeah, and then we got the next one, James Altucher. The five hundred dollars sponsor. Yeah, wow, this kid's been screwed in. It's been screwed in. Yeah. Wow. Wait, did you make a note of that Uvula one? Wow, that was a goodie. Si- oh, it's si- I'm sorry. It says SI's Tony Balls, the Half Bean, Wei Shan Chien Machine, and Uvula Fiend. Yeah, that that I think that might be the one. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's good. Uh, Sergio, not white, but votes to the right. It's character piece. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Piece. Yeah. Uh, that's a goodie. I'm gonna give a Clyde Drexler. That's I'm gonna put that in the Clyde Drexler. But but you know what I mean. That means you're a, still a Hall of Famer, but uh, born in the era of Michael Jordan. Okay, Dougie, make no mistake. The potty is gonna get me fired, but I want to see Carlos members one thousand. He uh, went for it. He just he he fell on yeah. the beam. Uh, Garth may or may not be a Nazi ancestor, but make no mistake, definitely, definitely Brandon Rain. Oh, 
Oh, some of these are. Oh, I see. Some of these names are cut off, and I can't see them. Oh, uh, they're, they're, they're too long. They're too long. All right. All right. Well, Sorry. yeah, it's a good one. All right. Uh, zoot and zoots, zoots toot. Okay. <laughs> Parker. Okay. Hey, Parker. Mikey Nunzi, Fat Sauce Monkey Corleone. Yeah, it's a goodie. Yeah. Clyde Drexler though. Then we got uh, our new fall Roman Weepa. We- oh, sorry, our new our new fall Roman Wepa Wepa Mihente. Good one. Good one. Uh, then Drexler. we got uh, Yanni the Uni. Yanni the Uni, good one. Yeah. The then we got uh, Drexler. Larry, not a Leroy, but now have a situation with one. Dot, dot, dot. Chrissy, sit on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's got to go on the list. Yeah. It's got to go on the list, Mikey. Then we got uh, Luke Tesoriero. He's got uh, a van. Yeah, you, I got a van. Then we got M. M. Suey, 2019, here for the content. Yeah. Um, Jordan Rivera, Christy Aurora. John catapult me over the wall with a White Walker piece, Gill. Yeah, is a Drexler, good one. Rosa, straight to the back parks. A lot of these guys just fall victim to being later in the list. Yeah. yeah. Sid, the screwed in kid who poos on kids, Graziano. He went for it, but you know, Gra- he, he could have just said Graziano. Yeah, it's fine. Um, sandbox Sammy. <laughs> Simple and good. Yeah. I'm going to go Drexler on that. Jonathan Casalou, Angela Tiano, Dabo Sweeney. Who's the coach of Clemson? Yeah. Um, Justin, no toots, wasp roots, unfumed pubes, groomed, and by myself, I'll take you physically. Just put that on the list. Yeah. That's a 10. Uh, then we got uh, Adam Garcia. How you doing? Then Jake, uh, CBD, cured my autism. I mean, anxiety. It's a character piece, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> Clyde Drexler, good one, though. Good one. Then we got Harma. Welcome to the back. Uh, then we got John John raised in a peach shop, so I got a nice big laugh for Chrissy Valerio. Good um, one. Uh, yeah, late in, the, late in the list. Zev, make no mistake, I'm a pretty screwed in kid. Mendelbaum. Nice Jew name. Yeah, it's a nice a kid's a nice Jewish boy. Jim Hall. Jim Hall. Then we I'm got, here for the contest straight to the back in a raincoat. Then we got Father Bill Mulrooney, Chapel 14, It's a Character Priest. <laughs> Yeah. Goody. 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 You got to put him on the list. Well, we gave that one to the at the live show. At the live show, that one won. Okay. We well, shot him out. He well, won at the live them, show. We want to read them on the main episode. Yeah, he won. Uh, Katie, feverless and fumeless and does not want to be here, Tartaglia. Another goody. Yeah. Was she, was she said on the live one, too? No. Oh. Michael Campbell. I'm oh. here for the content. I'm going straight to the All back. Right, last Thank few. you. Ray Spencer. Damaraja. Uh-huh. Sadef, half Hindu, half FF, just a G, kid, non, toot, big fumes, curry. <laughs> Goody. 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 Andrew Bowers. Uh, Richie, the big dick, Mick Hickey. Hickey's Good. my last name for realsies. Goody, late in the list. Yeah. Clyde Drexler. Yeah. Genesis Aurora. Welcome, girl. Likes Genesis, to sur- that, that girl's Latina. Latina. Yeah, I'll, yeah DM me. Um, likes to surf. Uh H.S. Jr. gave me a tonsillectomy because Father Bill's dick drew hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got to go on the list, Mikey. Bernard Lewis. Character uh, piece. Uh, Tony Balls 2020. Like uh, the list. Lauren. Jack Doherty. Paul Allen. The Average AF Podcast. Creamy Mike. Uh, Creamy Mike's funny. Michelle, make no mistake, I will x-ray your bony Maroney and laugh at it. Good one. Just, we, that's a hardcore Clyde Drexler. Then we got Ricky Two Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give Ricky Two Nuts Ricky a, two a nuts nod. Is funny. Yeah, you got to get a nod. Uh, Chrissy, thanks St. Frank Rizzo. Father Bill doesn't bang Leroy's Hanley. He went for All it. Right. He's late in the list. Greg, the screwed in NCTBG Blaine. Okay. I, these are all Clyde Drexlers. Wyatt, my piece's name is Woodrow Wilson because he doesn't like whiskey. Okay. Kid went for it, but went he, fell, it. he fell in the beam. Straight to the back, Silva. Okay. Jim, peace after the fourth brew, Quinn. Yeah, it's an yeah, Irish funny. kid. Yeah, he went for it. Late in the list, fell in the beam. Uh, Brian, crack me from the back in the love sack and set the microwave, Galeo. <laughs> <laughs> Another goodie. Holy then, shit. Then we got JD Supreme. All right, straight to the back. Uh, then we got Frank. Straight to the back. Then we got Craig Black. Yanni, guess my ethnicity. I'll become a ten dollar non toot. Okay. Uh, or, wait okay. a second. Let's let's bump him up. What's his name? Well, he already, he's he's paying twenty. Oh, okay. He kids at Frank and Frank Frank speeds. speeds. Yeah. Tomorrow. Then we got Cat half Sandy half Scandy removable shower head equals negative fumes. That <laughs> kid put him on a list. Yeah. <clears throat> Chrissy cousin Cracker. Goody. Late in the list <laughs> ten. Yeah, Clyde Drexler. Uh, Chris Peace tucked, jaws out. 
Okay. S- Steve going straight to the back, Fryetta. I'm here for the content. I respect uh, it. I respect it. Lauren Melita. She's getting disciplined. Duncan, can you give me Hey Bert's number? Because I'm a lonely kid, Hugh. <laughs> uh, hey Bert. That's a goodie. Uh, <laughs> Lainey Jennings. You know that he doesn't like Hey Bert it's has nuts. made it worse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Lauren we can't Mal- control these people. Lauren Melita. Um, then we got Duncan. Can you get me? Oh, sorry. L- Laney Jennings. Then we got FF Rico, not Rocco. You actual FF. Okay. Goody. Tina Noble. Straight Lawrence, to the back. Lawrence Alvarado. Straight to the back. Chills. Uh, Patrick, crack me open with Chrissy Hate Crime in the Love Sack. Uh, we're just going to, yeah, we're going to move past okay. that one. Justin, Chrissy, Micro D, Eaton, Yanni, Long Dong's Reese's character piece. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, old Johnny non toot I'll suck your flute, Ortiz. <laughs> God, these kids are so funny. Then we got uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a Muzzy Cuzzy Fumes Ladder 14. Yeah, he's a goodie. Yeah. He's a goodie, but he's, I'm going to Drexler that one. Uh, Mike Germantown Wooter, let's crack open a toot on the love sack. And then fi- last but not Drexler. least, Smucker Fuckerelli Stick My Dick in Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on the list. All right. I mean, there's about 20. I mean, that was. That, that was, was a long one because we missed uh, a week or two, right? Yeah, those are the newest Patreon members. Now, also, but- we're speeding up, which is good, but in honor of how good that was, Let's pick a winner. Okay. Let's, Let's pick, pick a, a winner. winner right now. We've okay. already had to go long. Let's just pick a winner because those were so good. Yeah. All right, Mike, what are they? All right. So from the first <laughs> batch, we had uh, Duke Joseph of Comtown, crack it with my bean and smash it in my jeans. <laughs> Richie, don't know where the fuck I'm from, but I got a tiny piece Curtis. Dominican immigrant here legally, but avoiding Chrissy Forthright. <laughs> Tyler, Eastern Hemi with my skin covered in sin, uh, Italiano. Yeah. Benjamin, straight to the front. Let's drain the swamp of marinara monkeys. Yeah. Joe, <laughs> cuzzy wuzzy, non toot. Chrissy's boots are fucking cute. That's my guy. I like him so far. Uh, That's Timmy. guy squad. Uh, green eyes, Leroy with a microwaveable glue gun. Good one. Uh, Tyler, the lean bean, half bean, bean eating cream for, my <laughs> for the protein. Yeah. Um, SI's Totally Balls, The Half Bean, Wage Long GN Machine, and UV Lafine. That's the winner for me. That's the, I don't even think you need to read the rest. For me, I'm voting there. Isis, where are you at? I, well, you I like finish the them? Uvula Machine. You like that Uvula one, Machine too? Uvula Machine is my, my favorite. So yeah, it's three. So other th- Father Bill one. Doesn't matter what Chrissy says because we're, we're, we're that, that's the winner. And Larry, well, not a Leroy, but not have a situation with one. Chrissy said on my lap. Justin, no toots, wasps, roots, unfumed pubes, groomed, and... By myself, I'll take you physically. Well, that was the second runner-up. Yeah, and then uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy, <laughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy, Wuzza Muzzy, Cuzzy Fumes, Lot of 14. Yeah, um, all good. And there's a couple others on here. Yeah, no, but we got the winner. Yeah. One more time for the winner, Uvula. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Uvula. I mean, look, it's fun work. It's great. Freedom I out. love it. S.I.'s Tony Balls, The Half Bean, Wei Zhang Xian Machine, and Uvula Fiend. That's that, the winner. That's the winner. All right, that's a PPW yeah, of the week. Thank you guys so much. Um, we appreciate all the support. It's been beautiful. It's all beautiful. Um, let's do it. Tell friends. Tell friends. Yeah, please tell friends. Go rate us on iTunes, okay? Give us five stars, you yeah. fucking FF. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.